there's two aspects of uh, the graveyard. There's the graveyard of the past and the graveyard of the ego, right? But in fact, actually, there are no difference. Because if you look at what your ego uses, it's always using your past. Always. Even uses your past to scare you about your future. It has no new material. Heaven, it's surprising that humans have not yet died of boredom from hearing the same thing from the ego. We say, literally, right? It's like a broken record. It is, it says the same thing. I see you're not good enough. I see you're not good enough. I see you're not good enough. Then you go, what do you mean? Oh yeah, five years ago, you know, you see that happen. And then another five years gone past, you know, 10 years ago, you say, and then another 20 years past, you know, that 25 years ago. If you look at the material that the ego presents to you and you scrutinize, you will see it's past sell by date. When people buy food, right, would you go to the supermarket and you look and it's past the sell by date for two days, you wouldn't buy it. And yet people buy from the ego every single time. Pay a high price for it as well. They would trade their strengths in. They would trade the love of who they are in. They would trade their intelligence in. That's the kind of price we are paying to the ego. It's not a good idea. There's nothing intelligent about it. So everything we put to rest with our blessings, with our blessings, not just, okay, all right, I forget about it. Uh -uh, your ego is not gonna, your ego rubs his hands in glee and go goody goody, more material so that I can make big stick from this material and hit her with it. <laughs> so people get walloped by their ego. Again and again, it's true, right? And the ego gives you a, a thrashing and you suffer so much. You learn from the past once. When it happened, you distill, you need to be a very smart chemist. You put it in your lab of your consciousness right, with all the Bunsen burner going, all the test tube and it bubbling away, you put it there and you distill. What is the essence, the juiciness you get from it that can become wisdom and that's all you need.